Hi there! In this video, we will be learning about the levels of biological organization. But before that, let's define biology. Biology is the branch of science which deals with the study of life of all the organisms on Earth. It is coined from two Greek words, bias, which means life, and logos, which means study. All living things exhibit a unique and complex hierarchical organization. This is arranged in ascending order or from the lowest to the highest level. That includes cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. One concrete example of a living thing is you. You are composed of many parts, and each part has a specific function. Every part is interrelated and is necessary for your continuous existence on this planet. It is guided by the rule, all for one, one for all, because these parts of your body will not work alone. Instead, all parts work as a whole. One part will not be able to work properly if another part is missing. Since life is such a broad topic, scientists break it down into several different levels of organization to make it easier to study. These levels start from the smallest unit of life and work up to the largest and most broad category. Let's start off with cells. The cell is the basic unit of life. There are two kinds of cells. Plant cells, which have a rigid cell wall made of cellulose molecules, and animal cells, which have flexible cell membranes. Cell biologists consider questions such as metabolism and other questions about structure and function within and between cells. A tissue is a group of cells performing a similar function. Muscle tissue, connective tissue, and neural tissue are some types of tissues. Histologists are an example of biologists who work at this level. An organ is a group of tissues performing a similar function. It is a system of tissues that work together on a larger scale to do certain jobs within an animal's body. Examples of organs are the brain, heart, and lungs. Anatomy is an example of a biological field concerned with this level. An organ system is a group of organs performing a similar function. They work together to perform specific bodily functions. The respiratory system, for example, uses the lungs, airways, and respiratory muscles to inhale oxygen and release carbon dioxide in animals. Physiologists study the function of the parts of the body as they work together. Though physiologists can work at any level of the biological organization, they often answer questions related to organ systems. An organism is an individual living thing that is made up of one or more organ systems. An organism is a recognizable, self-contained individual. Organisms can be unicellular organisms, such as bacteria or amoebae, or Multicellular organisms comprise of organs and organ systems. A human being is an example of a multicellular organism. A population is a group of organisms of one type that live in the same area. For example, a pride of lions in Kenya, Africa is a population. A community is a population that live together in a defined area. A community consists of all the different species within a certain area. The population of lions in Kenya, plus the populations of giraffes, elephants, and all the other species in that area add up to a community. An ecosystem is composed of a community, its non-living surroundings, and physical components of the environment. Rocks, water, and dirt are part of an ecosystem. Ecologists may study populations, communities, or whole ecosystems. 
Lastly, we have the biosphere. It is the part of the earth that contains all ecosystems. Every animal, plant, bacteria, rock, and molecule is part of the earth's biosphere. Non-biologists, such as meteorologists and geologists, may join biologists to answer questions at this level of biological organization. To summarize, biology is the branch of science which deals with the study of life of all the organisms on Earth. The biological levels of organization, arranged in ascending order, or from the lowest to the highest level include cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, organism, population, community, ecosystem, and biosphere. That's all for now. We will be discussing about cells in our next video, so stay tuned. See you on our next video, and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.